Well, all right. It's December 1st, 2023, and check it out. The Pirates have returned, and you get the Lefooter, the Capri, and both of the commanders, Michael Latier and the Destroyer commander there, as well as a Jolly Roger flag. So there you go. I don't think it's an actual Jolly Roger flag. I think it's a... Um, an octopus that's been uh, formed to kind of look like a skull and crossbones. But that uh, that will be available until January 15, 2424. We will check that out in the store in a minute. We have Godzilla and Kong, and this was kind of, um, well, unexpected. I don't recall this was in the patch notes, but here it is. The Titans on are on the seas once again. Check out the returning Kong and Godzilla collaboration, and I really like got the Godzilla commander voiceover. I've got that commander going on my Yamato. And uh, let's see what else, Brawl. Zhao, new barrel project, the uh, Japanese legendary cruiser Zhao is now a barrel project. I'd heard that there was a gate in the store to be able to buy the barrel project, either doubloons or silver credits. So we will go ahead and check that out. And yeah, that looks like a Corsair in the picture right there. So um, there are no Corsairs in the game that I'm aware of. But uh, all right, so new items in the store. Let's check it out. And feature tab. So here you go, the Zhao. Uh, check this out. Okay, so there are revamped treasure chests in addition to the pirate content. So, okay, sometimes these splash screens can be kind of... Uh, Irritating when you're trying to make a video, but here you go, a revamped treasure chest. So we'll be checking for that in the store. All right, so your options to obtain the Zal Barrel Project are 5,000 doubloons or 30 million silver credits. 15 million silver credits is valued at $40. If you want to go into the store, here, let's go over to the supply tab. Here, 15 million silver credits or 10,000 doubloons. So if you have no silver credits and you wanted to go that route, it would cost 20,000 doubloons to get all the silver credits that you need to be able to buy the Zao Bureau project. A lot of people have um, quite an excess of silver credits and it is no big deal. And I understand that part of it. So yeah, Zao Bureau project is either 5,000 doubloons, which would be $20 or 30 million silver credits, which has a value of $80 if uh, your only choice is to buy the silver credits. You're better off to um, pay the doubloons. And the limited offer here, I think this is only for, it says uh, purchase limit one. So a lot of times the doubloon option will only be available for a very short period of time. And then the remainder of the time, the Bureau projects will be available for silver credits. It doesn't say anything like that here. So those are your two options and what the difference is between doubloons and silver credits. All right, next up is the Pirates of Blunder package and 25% off for the next month. Yeah, so I have already obtained the Pirate package a year ago when these items first came out. Uh, 48... Pirate camels. I did not really think that they translated to a pirate uh, look very much as far as the camels go, but as far as the cost of this package, you see it's valued at over 40,000 doubloons, and that is $160 for both ships, both commanders, and 48 pirate camels, and that will allow you to create four permanent camos. Uh, as you may have seen in previous videos on this channel, uh, but yeah, 36,250 doubloons, that is over $120, $125 or so is what 36,000 doubloons works out to. The two Titans, that is just over $80 for both of the ships. Uh, these are tier five battleships. I think this is a Fuso and I think this is a Nevada. And I don't really think they have any special qualities uh, that um, rank them above their tech tree counterparts. And as I said, I do have Godzilla and I uh, really like it. Not sure about Kong, but uh, yeah, the flag. Uh, obviously, I don't have the flag. And here you can create two 
permanent camouflages out of each of these uh, bundles of 25 disposable camos. So I really like the Ultimate Guardian, not so much the Ultimate Titan, but that is the deal here with the two Titans package. Uh, King of Skull Island. So it looks like this is just Kong by himself with the primal uh, ship, the uh, Nevada, I think it is. And yeah, so that's 15,000 doubloons. That is a $60 value there. You do get the flag and five, two Titans, one King container. And these did have some pretty good drops in them um, from what I remembered a year ago. So, all right, that uh, $60 right there. Let's see, two Titans, one King. This is $3 for this uh, for this crate looks like you can buy however many you want uh, three dollars is what those go for let's check out the special tab All right same thing same thing same thing same thing all right let's check out the pirate tab okay so here you go you do want to pick up your free treasure chest here so we're going to go ahead and do that and we already checked this out. Treasure chests are normally $4 or 1,000 doubloons. Five of them, no bargain on that. You get a 15% discount if you wanna buy 10 of those crates. I will have the crate drop link down in the details of the video down below. Michael Latier and LeFooder. Yeah, 20,000 uh, 20, doubloons, that is $80. And Thing about LeFooder and Michael Latier, this is basically a Jean Bart light, I guess. It's not really a Jean Bart. Uh, Jean Bart has amazing qualities that this ship does not have, but it's kind of like configured like a Jean Bart. I think it's a Jean Bart, um, not chassis, but a hull. And the secondaries really come alive with Michael Latier. And I ultimately built the LeFooder with Michael Letera, I ranked him up to 16th Legendary 3 to really enhance the secondaries. So that's how I went with uh, LeFooder. Capri and Adrian M. Davis, that was her name, uh, 80,000, um, not 80,000, 20,000 doubloons, $80. And I had so, so luck with uh, the Destroyer and uh, a lot of people really liked it. Could have been more of a gunboat. The uh, ship is based on La Fantastique, but she's not an exact copy. I think La Fantastique was a French ship, and here you can see it's got a British flag on it. So I think La Fantastique was probably more of a gunboat, and I'm more of a torpedo guy. Maybe that's why I didn't uh, do that well. But I, I guess I did okay. Here's the Le Fouder and the Capri by themselves, and that is $70, your normal 17,500 doubloons, and Latier and Davis by themselves for $20 or 5,000 doubloons. And just for laughs, let me go and check out Le Fouder and remind myself of how I have Le Fouder uh, set up. Okay, so here's Le Fouder. Ooh, I, I had all the boosters going last time I played it. And uh, yeah, Michael Latier ranked up to 16 uh, Legendary 3. And you can see I've got the secondary inspirations going here with Haruna, uh, 16 uh, Legendary 2. And Franz von Hipper for uh, Elbow Room. He's maxed out at 16 Legendary 4. Secondary gun range and shell grouping is maxed out. I'm gonna rank up Haruna up to 16 uh, Legendary 3 here in a little bit, but it's your basic uh, secondary build. I did not go with Brawler here because I don't want to take a hit on the main gun's range, which is already reduced because you went with a secondary build. So I went with uh, not the one for Nuisance here as the first skill. And uh, then I went with Porcupine, of course, and then Properly Meticulous. And then uh, Master Mechanic rather than the unique skill of I'll be back. And um, yeah, I went with uh, Running with Scissors to help out the traverse speed of the main guns and the rudder shift time. But it does cut down on the main battery dispersion. 
Um, I don't know, I probably should go with Will to Rebuild again, but this is how I had Michael Latier set up, and this is my setup. I haven't really touched it in about a year, and I had some pretty good luck with the uh, Lufudair. Uh, let's go check out the specs, and right, 17 kilometer range of the main guns with a 27 reload, but check out those secondaries. Firing range is 10.5 kilometers, which is pretty darn respectable. And you can probably make something happen in a standard match if uh, you can get to within 10 kilometers of an enemy ship. In general, a uh, secondary build is kind of dicey and standard because it's not all that easy to get in close. And all right, there you go. That is it for all the big time events with the Pirates and Kong and Godzilla on December 1st. 2023? Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like it.